this is Carrie O'Donnell from Tarot Soul Writer, and it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. I missed all the big events. I missed the indictments and all of the Trump readings and everyone going wild. Maybe it's a good thing. You have a lot of good readers out there, a lot of readers that were able to move you through that time period. And I am, like I said, in transition and it seemed best that I not read during that period. I'm finding it very difficult to schedule lives. So I think for the next couple months, I'm going back to my roots and we're gonna do a few quickie political tarots. I'm gonna to try to keep these to one big question or one big topic and periodically post these as check-ins. And this video is going to be a Trump in July video. We're gonna focus on him, what's coming up for him in the month of July, see what information that I can get on him because I haven't read um, on all of these events. So this is my time and I've really, I've not read at all. Like I didn't even read for myself to say, hey, what's going on? I try to keep it or keep away from it. So before I start the reading, just a little commercial please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am still doing personal readings, even though I might not have as many time blocks as usual. But please go to my website, tarosoulwriter.com. Follow the instructions. And uh, yeah, I still have some spots available. So I'd love to do a reading for you. So let's start with Trump. I don't even like to say his name anymore. Trump. Trump in the month of July. What's coming up for Donald J. Trump in the month of July? What's coming up for Donald J. Trump in the month of July? Ooh, at the, the bottom, you have the High Priestess, which is interesting. I feel like that's a lot of feminine energy. The first thing that I am getting is the Death card. And with this card, there is a huge ending and transformation for Trump. This is what's underneath the situation. This is what he's experiencing. The rubber meets the road. He knows at some level that he's toast. All right. That, you know, it's funny because when I think of death and that transition in one's life, it's like you came into this world, into... Once you go through that transition to birth or to life on this plane, it's as if there's no way out. Like you have to go through the tunnel again to get out. And I know that's a weird image, but I'm just seeing this tunnel for him. Tunnel vision, like he realizes that he needs an escape route. He needs a way to get to the other side so to speak. There's no getting out of it now. He's made his bed. Like he, there is, I know he seems in denial, but there is some level where he realizes, you know, I, I need to transition out of this in some way. And it's going to be difficult. Uh, nothing's going to be the same again. Like he knows this. This is what concerns me. Uh, my next card and where he is right now is with the Six of Swords, trying to move to Kama Waters in July. This is a travel card. It's a movement card. Um, dare I say it, you know, going across the waters to somewhere better. He's planning an escape. Now, in the past, I've always got him thinking about it, but maybe getting caught or not being able to do it. I'm telling you, he's really planning an escape in the month of July. There is something here where, all right, how can I get out of it? Especially next to this death card, knowing that that's his only way out at this point. 
I have the star card here. Hope. All right. And if I put these two cards together as he moves forward, I'm looking for that sense of hope. I'm following my North Star. I'm um, look at all the water. Look at all the emotion in these cards. Trying to escape. Lots. There's a lot of emotion here. But almost denial. Like I get the sense of a false hope in some ways. Like he's he's planning an escape, but he's. And there's something delusional about it. Um, but that just could be where he's at. Now here's the outcome for the month. The devil. And the devil is the outcome. It is that sense of Trump in his natural state, that corruption and so forth, is the ending. He's planning an escape. He's, there's a sense that this has not been quelled yet. And then, right around that, um, I get this woman. And it is a woman who is after him hardcore. Now, I know there are a lot of women involved. Um, even Eileen Cannon, and I can do another reading on her another time. And she's technically the judge. Most people don't see her as the judge long term. So maybe this is... And, and I don't feel like she would have this sense of revenge, you know, it, like I'm going to get him at all costs. This has got to be either uh, Georgia or uh, New York. One of the women in those states who are like, I have a vendetta against this one. I have, I'm coming after him, right? This is at all costs. There's a sense of I, I will not be denied in July. And then I get the sun card. Okay, there's that revelation. Because there's a revelation by a woman. All right, of the corruption, of who he really is. I feel like there's something coming out. Um, I feel this is more Georgia than New York. Maybe I'm wrong, but I... The sun card is making me feel also about warm climates. Now, he could be trying to escape to Saudi Arabia, so that's why we have that strong sense of a, of a climate. But since this card is also next to the woman, I feel like it might be Georgia. So this is basically what I'm getting in the big picture. He's, he knows he's toast. He's planning an escape. He's trying to hold on to hope. But a woman who is just, she's like a pit bull who will not let go. That's like the image that I'm getting. And she's going to be some sort of big revelation of extreme corruption, I feel, during that time. This woman is um, part of this revelation. So whether this comes from the feds or there's she's feeding this, there's, there's something that she has... Um, it kind of comes to the forefront at that time. So this is possibly more indictments. So let's kind of take a look at some sub questions. Let me use my deck of characters. Let me just ask first and foremost, will Donald Trump be successful in leaving the country? Since that's something that he is thinking about in the month of July. Is Donald Trump going to successful successfully leave the country it's funny because then I was thinking of the bottom of the deck we got that feminine energy with the high priestess interesting all right okay will he successfully leave the country I don't know, I just got a picture of Ivanka. I don't know if she's part of this sort of exacting revenge, because I didn't really think that she would want revenge on, your, on her father, just more of a sense of self-protection, like I need to do what I have to do, but I feel like there's something with Ivanka that I'm getting coming up in July with that feminine energy. Please. <laughs> 
Trump thinks he's the master of the universe. <laughs> That's what the first thing I get. He feels like he's the master and he is going to be successful. Remember when I said, like, I got this sense of, like, he's making this plan. He feels like he's got hope, but there is also a sense of delusion underneath it. I feel like he thinks he's the master of the universe, but what he really is is a drunken sailor. So <laughs> there is just this sense of um, he's all over the place with his plan. Like his, and, and here I'm getting at the end a loud stereo, uh, stereo bulldozing. There's like a sense he's bullying, like he's, he's all over the place. You know, he's being Trump. He's, I get like from his own mouth, it's like, He's bulldozing everybody, but he's he's in trouble here by his own words. Let me take a few tarot cards. I feel like he's just trying to make it happen. Is he going to be successful? Is he going to be successful? Leaving the country. It's a lot of money. There's a lot of money here. And I feel like there's like henchmen. There are helpers here um, who are helping him. I know this is crazy, but like there's, this is the page of swords. So it's, that's definitely a sense of defense. But in this particular deck, I always get almost like assassins, like people working for him. And I just got the sense of there are people in the government, um, could be um, for entertainment purposes only, but it it could be Secret Service or there are other people who may have in a sense defected to the side that are helping him. Strong. All right, I this is the first time I've ever gotten this. I could be totally wrong, but originally, I got that he's just loud and I'm going to do this and he's all over the place like a drunken sailor, but I also in the outcome pulled the rainbow. So I, I got the sense that, oh my goodness, he might be successful. And that's why before I revealed that card, I wanted to see um, with the tarot cards um, if he would be successful in leaving the country. And I'm getting a lot of money here and that's a yes card and that there are people helping him to for his defense uh, with the money. Um, you know, that sort of assassin. I mean, these could be the Saudis. It could be people within the government who are helping to make that deal and that he's strong. There's strength here. What the heck? I've never gotten that before. I always got that he would get caught. Hey, I mean, that's what I'm, I'm getting today. In the month of July, I think that if he's going to leave, it could be the month of July. And right now, it looks pretty strong. And again, the other reading kind of looked at a lot of female energy and a lot of corruption was being revealed and people were not going to let go of this. We're going to get him. It kind of ended that way. I've always gotten he was going to get caught or prevented. But these are what the cards say. In July, I think is the strong... If he if he gets out in July, like he's gone. Like I, I feel like that's his best chance. So, you know, we'll do some other readings here in the future and we'll see how it turns out. Um, but I know people are still going after him. I know that there are strong cases coming after him because we had that ending with the devil and the woman and things being revealed, all that corruption. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. All right, so let me just end my Trump reading in July. with a message about justice and will we 
see him pay one way or another. Will we see Donald Trump pay for his crimes? One way or another. Will the truth come out? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. He's definitely going, there's karma here. I mean, karma's coming after him. Here's that devil. That's all the corruption. There's karma for that corruption. Here's the secrets, all the secrets and the things under the surface. All that corruption. Look at that karma for all that under the surface. And what's the outcome? The Six of Swords, but it's reversed. That's like not mm, complete success. Let me get some clarifiers. No, but that's all right. The Seven of Swords is reversed, though. So when I read the Seven of Swords, which is like the theft card and crimes, when I have it in reversal, it's kind of like this idea of everything coming out, the truth coming out. Um, so we're definitely, everything's going to be out there at some point. And there's going to be healing. But it's funny because we, we don't have complete success. Like he, we don't feel like it's justice the way we imagined it. Does that make sense? It's like, I think the way we want justice is, you know, Trump's put on trial, the truth comes out, and he's locked away, you know, in an orange jumpsuit. That's not how it's going down. It's, yeah, like all of this, karma's going to come back on him. The universe is, it's all coming back on him. So he gets justice in a karmic way and the truth comes out and we do heal as a nation with this but it's not the success we imagine it's not the justice we imagined you know i always i don't read on death but i always thought that maybe donald wouldn't make it to that ending to the ending that we imagined. Um, so I don't know if that's what's in play here or does he successfully leave? Like those other cards are saying July could be the month where he makes a move and he's feel it's, it's looking pretty bad. So if maybe, you know, karma comes back on him, he ends up living the rest of his days overseas everything comes out here he's a traitor to the world there's nowhere he can really go um i mean it could be something like that and so karma comes back on him because just because you escape to another country once the truth comes out and you are a traitor not only can you not come back in but another country is not going to let you take over like the saudi prince isn't going to you know give you ultimate power one way or another, you're creating a cage for yourself. The borders are going to be closed to a man like that. He's not going to be able to travel the world. He's going to be living in exile if that scenario comes to pass. Like Napoleon, you know, that's his island. That's his desert, his, his desert oasis maybe, but it's a desert nonetheless. Um, so either way, karma is going to come back on him. Um, and maybe it's just not how we expected. Whoops, wrong card. It's not how we expected. So that's my reading on Donald Trump. Uh, a lot of things that I didn't expect. I definitely will do some follow-up on this. I'm going to try to do little readings like this uh, as much as I can. Maybe just one question, one topic at a time. If you have anything in particular you want me to read on, any topic, any specific question, for sure put that in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. 
And don't forget to sign up for personal readings. I would love to read for you. And I know some people have been asking about tarasol writing classes. We're going to start those up in October. I have a really cool trailer um, that I am going to add to the end of this video. And I will post those dates as soon as I know the starting date. So we can start up classes and we're going to start up a tarasol writing group that's going to give people a lot more flexibility. So if you ever wanted to open up to channeling or to self-reflection or to creative power, this is the class for you. Till the next video, you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.